What's going on guys? So as promised, I'm back with the A part of the Q&A. You know what I'm saying? I already did the Q part where I asked you guys, you know, submit your questions and now I'm about to do the A part where I answer all your questions. So um, I'm going to try to go through as many as I can. Uh, you guys, you know, there was a lot of submissions, so thank you guys for that. And uh, basically, I'm just going to see which ones I can answer. Sometimes I might answer two questions at a time, depending on the question. So uh, just bear with me here. And uh, let's get it. So the first question comes from Jordan Wade, and uh, he asks where I'm from. So I'm gonna answer this question in two ways, and I'm gonna keep it short and simple and sweet and everything like that. Um, I was raised in Maryland, uh, Gaithersburg, Maryland, to be exact. And um, but I was actually born in Senegal, West Africa. So I came to America when I was about two, three or four, maybe. I was really young. I don't really remember much, but um, that's pretty much where I was born originally. And um, Gaithersburg, though, Maryland is like where I was really raised. That's who, that's what really influenced me to be who I am today. So um, that answers that. The second question is from uh, I Red Wolf 523 and he asks, when did I meet Kayo, Dre, and uh, Kay? So uh, this one is, I could answer two separate ways, but I really don't remember much about how I met uh, Kay and Dre, but I know I met him, we met in middle schools because we all went to the same middle school and um, so since sixth grade, I've known them. It's been a long time. I don't remember exactly how we met. Maybe they know, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't remember, but uh, we've been friends for a long time. And Kyle, I knew, I know, I know Kyle since uh, like 10th grade, I think. I think he was in like my French class, but like we didn't really know each other. We were just in the same class. We'd seen each other. And um, ever since, so after high school, that's when we really became close and became really good friends. So uh, just about that question about how uh, me, Dre, and K met, uh, do you remember? Uh, nah. <laughs> I have no idea. We have no idea. To this day, we no still talk about like, yo, how do we become friends? We don't know, but, I mean, we've been friends for a long time, so that makes up for it. Next question comes from Liam R. I'm not gonna, you know, say your last name, man. Uh, I don't wanna butcher it. But uh, he asked, what other YouTubers do I watch? And uh, this one um, is pretty simple, at least for me. Um, you know, YouTube obviously been around for a long time, but the main guys that I watch, I mean, day in and day out are definitely Anto, Dre, K, and Kayo. Um, those are the guys that I grew up with. I know how hard they work, how much work they put in. So when I wake up in the morning, I wanna watch something, uh, I'll probably watch some something they made just to see, you know, maybe I can get some tips or tricks or just anything that'll help me improve. And it gives me a little motivation too. So um, that answers that, you know, those are the guys I watch. Um, those are the guys I'm, I'm sub to. And um, that's just how I want to keep it. So next question is from Bree Guy and Cody. I'm gonna answer these two questions and knock them out one time. He uh, Bree Guy asked, "What position do I play in basketball?" And then Cody asked, "What was it like to play college basketball?" And if I wanted to go pro. So the position I played is um, it really changed through high school. I was like a forward because I wasn't I was one of the few tall kids. And um, but in college though, I had to play shooting guard. So. That's my position in college. Um, I even wanted to play point guard, which I played a little bit of point guard in AAU, but I never really played point in college. I was more of a spot-up shooter, defender. And then um, the second question was, what was it like to play college basketball and did I want to go pro? So college basketball, honestly, it was amazing. One of the best experiences of my life, but I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot of hard work. You know, waking up early in the morning, going to the gym, working out, going back to the gym later after class, shooting, getting shots up and then uh, having practice later that night. So that was something that was, it was hard, but for me, it was what I wanted to do. It was something I enjoyed. Did I want to go pro? Um, definitely thought about it when I was younger. Of course, everybody, when their kids thinks, I'm gonna go to the NBA, I'm gonna go to the NBA. But um, honestly, you know, once you start getting older, you see where you are compared to other people, you start to realize, you know, where you're at. And um, I did think about playing overseas, um, maybe like even in somewhere like in Puerto Rico, they have like, you know, teams and clubs out there where you could play professional. And um, I mean, I wanted to do it. It was something I wanted to do at a certain time, but you know, I felt into something else that I love doing and that's this right here. So um, don't really regret anything, but I mean, if you do work hard though, college basketball is something that is a great experience. And um, I think if you really love the sport and you really put in the work, it's something you will not regret, so. All right, next question is from Xbox Highlights. And he asked, where did I get the name More Money from? Basically where I got the name More Money from is my first year playing junior college. Um, this was like the first game of the season and uh, the announcer came up to me and asked me, you know, how do I say my name, my first and last name? And my last name is very hard to pronounce. So, not me, I didn't know this at all, but you know, once the game started, uh, I subbed in, 
a few minutes in, I scored my first basket. And then out of nowhere, the announcer says, more money. And then ever since then, it's pretty much just stuck with me. Um, I think it's pretty dope. It's a cool name. As you see, it's my, like my YouTube alias name or whatever. So um, definitely something that I kept in the back of my mind. Next question is by Ronald Wise. And he said, what are my three favorite sports to play? So first sport is definitely basketball. Second favorite sport to play is soccer. Um, you can ask Dre and uh, Kaya about you know my soccer skills in <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> so um, <laughs> so uh, my third favorite sport to play, I guess you could say football. Um, not much of a football player, but I like you know going outside, tossing the football, or even playing flag football. That's always fun. So that pretty much sums that up. Uh, next question is by Epic Hype Man, and uh, he's asking, "Are you hoping your YouTubing will become your career?" Um, this is a very good question, and um, I'm gonna just you know get right to it. Pretty much, I moved down from Maryland to Orlando so I could do this full time. So that pretty much answers your question right there. Obviously, it's something that I'm. 100% in and oh, Just I have a guess. do it! <laughs> like you said, just do it. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just taking a skyfall, I'm taking a dive, I'm going for it. And um, yeah, I think at the end of the day, this is what I'm gonna be doing as a career. Next question from Jacob Brown, and he asks, who's your favorite rapper? Now, um, you guys may not know this, but you know, I listen to hip hop, R&B, like that's the main thing I listen to. My favorite rapper is, who I listen to the most, I think is Wiz Khalifa. Um, Ding or Ding with Khalifa, um, and uh, basically I just like the message he sends about being positive, staying true to yourself, and uh, just keeping it real and being with you know people who you've been with from the beginning. So that's why he's one of my favorite rappers and one of the guys I listen to the most. But other than that, though, I like Kanye West. I like uh, Drake, um, who doesn't who hasn't like you know Lil Wayne at one point. And uh, but that's pretty much it. And I like you know Big Sean, guys like that. But I listen to just about everybody. Next question from Eric Davis, and he asks, what are your favorite shoes? Now this one, with basketball, you know, I went through a whole bunch bunch of shoes, you know, KDs, Kobe's, but my favorite shoes though, to wear, go out with, anything like that, is definitely Roshi's. Uh, they're simple, they're clean looking, and um, yeah, I rock them everywhere. I rock them to the gym, I rock them when I go out, I rock them when I'm walking, like, those are my shoes to wear, most comfortable shoes I have, so, um, yeah, those are my favorite shoes, Roshi's. Gotta get a pair. Next question from uh, RJ Galvez, and he asked, what was your favorite moment playing basketball and a buzzer beater? Good question. Um, actually never, I had a buzzer beater. Only time I had a buzzer beater, this is the only buzzer beater of my life, was uh, actually in AAU basketball. And uh, I don't remember the exact details, and I wish there was a tape for it, and there isn't. So you just gotta believe me when I say this, but um, long story short, you know, we're down two. Like less than 15 seconds left on the clock. Um, I was playing one of my one of my close friends, a Duce. Uh, I think he swung to me on the wing, hit the jumper. It was a tray ball, and it was good. So that is technically a buzzer beater because we won that game. So yes, I have had a buzzer beater one, but I'll take it. It's better than none. The first part of his question, he said, "What was my favorite moment playing basketball?" And uh, I'm gonna bring this back to high school. You know. Um, where I played with guys that, you know, we call it No Faking, that's like the, the group name or whatever. And uh, we actually went to state semis. We played at Maryland University. And uh, just the overall experience of that was just, it was great. I mean, those guys to, to still to this day are, you know, some of my closest friends. And uh, we just had, you know, so much camaraderie. You know, we're all close as a group. And uh, just those memories of us hanging out after practice, before practice and things like that, that's really one of my favorite memories playing basketball, just because I had so much fun. I didn't even think about basketball as much I was, as I was thinking about, you know, just having a good time with people that I enjoy being with. Um, next question, James Schofield. Hey, Michael Schofield, prison break. Hey, I like that last name, dog. Um, he asked, if you could play, if you could have any basketball player skill set, who would it be? You asked me this two, three years ago, I would have said, no question about it, I would have said Dwayne Wade, got, got a mean mid-range jumper, he's athletic, he could pass, rebound, you name it, he could do it, great leader. But now with the way the game is changing, I would have to say Stephen Curry, man. The guy can shoot lights out from anywhere on the court. He got the ball on the string, he could cross anybody up, and uh, that's a skill set that has never been seen before in basketball. So if I could have a skill set, why wouldn't I pick that one, right? Uh, next question is from Ballistic Squad, and he asks, what is your favorite type of car brand? Now, I'm going to say this honestly, my favorite car brand and my favorite car is definitely the 
Porsche 911, all white, ding or ding. I'm gonna post a picture either here or here just to show you guys what it looks like. One of my favorite cars ever, I think it's clean, it's simple, it's sick, and uh, it's kind of fast too, so, you know, Porsche, you know what I'm saying? It's Porsche, you gotta love it, you know what I mean? Next question is from Dutch Eagle Flores, funny kid, um, up and coming YouTuber, you guys should check him out. And he asked, do I even lift, bro? Well, bro, let me tell you this. I go to the gym four to five times a week, at least, you know, whether I'm playing ball or I'm lifting, usually I'm lifting if I'm not playing ball and I'm playing ball if I'm not lifting. So, yeah, I lift. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna tell you exactly where I live, but I bench. I do bench press, you know, I got leg days. I do my leg days, and when I do leg days, I do them well, meaning I could squat over 200 pounds, which might not be a lot to a lot of people, but to me, it's a lot, because I bet you Dutch Chico Flores can't squat 200 pounds. So uh, there goes your, your question, there you go. It's answered, all right? I do lift every day, all day, all day, every day. Next question from Arden, uh, a Lily, I think. I think I said it right. And he asked, if I could play on any NBA team, what team would I play with? And, um, bruh, <laughs> if you know me, if you've been keeping up with me, you know my team is the Miami Heat. And uh, it would be great. It'd be crazy if I could, you know, play with Dwayne Wade. You know, he's a shooting guard. I'm a point guard. And um, that's my favorite team. That's one of my favorite, that's my favorite player of all time. So, um, yeah, Miami Heat all day, man. That's no doubt about it. No question in my mind. If I could pick today, a team to play for would be the Miami Heat. Uh, next question, this is actually a two-part question. I'm gonna answer these both from Jason Fuentes. He asked me who's my favorite basketball player of all time except for MJ. I think I answered that one. And uh, Thomas Gorski asked if I'm ever gonna be coming to Houston. You know what, man, I like to travel. I love to go different places. Um, still, so many places I haven't been yet that I wanna go. So uh, when you say, am I gonna come to Houston ever? Yeah, one day I will be in Houston, man. And uh, hopefully you'll, I'll let you know, you know, or I'll vlog it or whatever, and uh, maybe we even do a meetup. So, yeah, one day I will be in Houston, man. Believe it. Next question from Jordan Wade, and he asked, "Do I watch WWE?" I'm gonna keep this one short and simple for you. Um, I do not watch WWE, but back in middle school days, you know, when I was um, early in high school, I used to watch it religiously every Monday, and I think Thursday they would have it, you know, WWE, and then they have Raw. Um, I used to watch it all the time. It used to be my favorite, but you know, once I started getting into sports and things like that, um, you know, I kind of just didn't watch as much TV. So I haven't really watched it since, but you never know. Maybe I'll just start watching it again, you know? Uh, next question from Super Mac Gaming, and he asks, can you dunk? If so, do one, please. I can't do a dunk on this video. I could dunk on a Nerf basket if you want me to, but um, you know what? I can dunk, um, especially like early in co my college days. Uh, I'll show you guys a video, probably right here. Let me dunk in. Woo! Yeah, look at that dunk, man. I had some bounce, right? I had some bounce. But, um, you know, I did hurt my knee um, last year, actually, um, at school. And uh, really, my athleticism hasn't been, like, my jumping ability hasn't been the same since. But, you know, I've been going to the gym, like I said, almost every day. So that's something I'm trying to work back to get back to where I was and even better. Still to this day, I'm not, you know, trying to go to the NBA or anything. But, you know, I love the sport and I love being competitive. And, um... You know, I still haven't lost that drive to get better at the sport. So that's an old dunking video, but you know, as I keep on getting stronger and get my legs back under me, I will be, you know, posting more dunking vids. So be on the lookout. My bad. Next question from Eric Henderson. Um, I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet too, because um, it's not really about me. You know what I'm saying? But uh, who's better, Irving or Curry, and why? I'll say this: um, Stephen Curry's a better player. He's a champion. He's a proven winner. Um, he's Proven he could play team ball and still get his. And um, I think he is definitely the best scorer in the league. Maybe one of the best scorers ever in history. So um, definitely think he's a better player. Next two questions, I'll knock these out out of the way. Um, from Xbox Highlights, he asked me how tall I am. I am six, two and a half, six three with shoes on maybe. I'm like six, three and a half with shoes on. And um, another question by Ryan. Tarball, Turnball, I think. Uh, <laughs> he asked me, do I have siblings? And yes, I have a little brother. He's 14. Um, he is a complete opposite of me, which I'm ecstatic about. You know, he's not really into sports. He loves YouTube. He loves his video games and he loves books and reading. So I'm, I'm grateful to have him as a little brother. He's a great kid. And, um, you know, he's different. And I like that. Uh, next question is from Bree Guy. He asked me, who inspired me to do YouTube? Um, pretty much just growing up, 
especially through like high school and uh, you know being friends with Anto since like middle school, seeing him do it for so long and just put all the work he put in. I used to go to his house when he was editing or recording. Um, that's really like, it slowly drew me into it. And uh, that's really like what really inspired me to do it. Um, and then obviously you guys know Dre and K. Um, they've been doing this for a good amount of time also. And they're, you know, having a lot of tremendous amount of success. So um, I definitely look at those guys, you know, as motivation. Um, they definitely push me every day to go hard at it and do it the best I can. And uh, that's pretty much like the people who really inspire me. So. Um, I think that's about it, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A, man. Uh, I'll be coming out with a strong week of videos for sure. I have uh, my player coming out this week, and you guys are going to love that episode. I got something crazy for y'all. And then, um, yeah, you know, I got Ultimate Team, Draft Champions, all that coming. So be on the lookout this week. Thank you guys for watching, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm signing out. Uh, niggas ain't think that I last. Too bad I got my foot up on the gas. In between chasing these dreams and not getting blotted by the Funny, I just ran into my ex. Ask how I'm doing, said I'm blessed.